when we really decide to walk with God, when we really decide to become disciples of Jesus, when we really decide to allow God to transform us and transform our lives, there's always obstacles, you know. Some of those obstacles are very human and very much us, you know. I think about, um, I think about the disciples, you know, in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane on uh, Holy Thursday, and uh, man, they can't even stay awake. And, and that's our humanity, right? And so as we decide really to walk with God, as we decide to allow God to take our spirituality to the next level, there's going to be lots of obstacles. Some of those obstacles, just our humanity, you know. Other obstacles are other people in our lives. There are a lot of people in your life who do not want you to change, okay? Because just by changing, you challenge them to change. And before you challenge them to change, just by changing, you challenge them to take another look at their lives, to take another look at their character, their values, and how their character and values are expressing themselves in their relationships and in their life. So there are a lot of people around you who don't want you to change. Even if you don't say anything, just by living a different life, you, you are witnessing to them, you are preaching to them in a very powerful way, in a very profound way, in a very humble way. Just by living a different life, we are preaching a message to the world. We have to be mindful, it isn't gonna be easy. There are gonna be obstacles, there is gonna be resistance. There's gonna be internal resistance, there's gonna be external resistance. And when we experience those obstacles and when we experience that resistance, the biggest mistake we can make is to rely on ourselves. When we encounter obstacles, we have to turn to our friends, turn to our peers, so that they can encourage us and inspire us. And most of all, we have to turn to God because it's only grace, right? All is grace. Everything is grace. Nothing without grace. And so it's only by turning to God that we'll make our way through those obstacles that will break through those walls of resistance and live the incredible life that God is inviting us to live.